hello, 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 hello. So, I teased this yesterday with my little shorty thing, but I thought I would explain better. Now, a good uh, theorist would have a script. The problem is that when I have scripts, uh, I become incredibly stiff, and then it's incredibly awkward, and I don't like that. So what I have instead is a random little pile of bullet points. Uh, because I am not a good theorist, but I am weirdly good at connecting stupid little things together. So, I have always had a theory that Lefty and Nightmare were somehow related. Nightmare being the, uh, black translucent version of Fredbear that we see in the, in, in FNAF 4. And Lefty being the... Uh, lure, let's see if I can remember this off the top of my head, lure, extract, lure, extract, f nope, I cannot remember off the top of my head, but Lefty being the lure module that traps the puppet and thus Charlie within itself to keep it from doing its thing and presumably escapes at the end of at the end of uh, Pizza Sim, because we never see Lefty actually get burned. Isn't that swell? Uh, yeah. So, why exactly do I think that they have a connection? Well, uh, Nightmare is a large black bear with yellow details, a presumably opening uh, ch uh, torso, chest area, a... Um, problem in which there is clearly something inside of it, and it is not what it seems. Um, it's actually the uh, only one that we know 100% for certain is not like an actual animatronic. The There are theories that state that all of the nightmares are created by um, sound illusion discs, and there are theories that state that only really nightmare is that because you can see through him unclear but what is what is our good pal lefty well lefty is a black bear with yellow details a presum a presumably opening torso area because well he has to be able to put the puppet in there somehow and he is not what he seems <laughs> because he is there to contain the puppet, and thus Charlie. Now, I feel like that right there is a decent amount of evidence towards the fact that they're connected. Um, but there's also a line that Nightmare says, and I actually did write this one down because I do think I had sometimes. Uh, Nightmare in Ultimate Custom Night says, I am your wickedness made flesh. And what exactly is the puppet? A, a now sentient creature I'm going to a now sentient it's not really an animatronic, but a now sentient being coming alive due to the fact that Charlie was killed. The puppet is the wickedness made flesh. It is the wickedness of the one who would kill someone given new life. And what does the puppet do? It gives gifts, it gives life. Thus, creating more. Now the problem is, I've had this connection, I've had this thought in my head for a ridiculously long time. I have absolutely no idea whatsoever what it could mean or what it could imply. Because, again, I'm not a good theorist. What I am good at is making random little connections and things. I feel like what I desperately need is for somebody else that I can point this connection out to that will then know what to do with the information. <laughs> um, I I have absolutely, the only thought that I had about this 
which seems not quite correct, could be that what if Nightmare was somehow somebody else's interpretation of Lefty? Because Lefty... You can, you can see in parts of Lefty the bits of the puppet sticking out, and if Lefty opens his mouth too far, you can see the marionette inside of it. At least you can based on the various statues that Funko has put out. So, what if Nightmare was somehow that? As in, like, that was how they saw the, how they saw the Lefty? Um, that was the only thought that I had, that I had had previously. The other thought that I had had was maybe Nightmare somehow was symbolic of death for the FNAF 4 game, for the FNAF 4 game, but that theory is outdated and ha well, it's not really a theory. That thought is com uh, highly outdated and ha doesn't have, um, a lot of, uh, thing behind it, and was sort of also vaguely based on the idea that perhaps Shadow Bonnie also in FNAF 2 represented death, due to a series of things in which rabbits symbolize both life and death in some cultures, and other things that I didn't bother remembering to look back up because this is a completely unrelated tangent. I do, I desperately think that Lefty and Nightmare have to be related in some way or another. I have no idea how, so I'm hoping that by putting this idea out, somebody can look at this and see this and be like, oh yeah, maybe it goes together like this. Maybe it goes together in this way. I... I don't know. This is just a thought that's been bothering me for a while, and I thought, well, what better way, what better time to get this thought out of my brain uh, than on the release day of Ruin, where people are going to be looking up FNAF things anyways, and maybe that will help this get into the hands of the correct people who can actually use this information for something. There are a couple other of the voice lines between Puppet and, or not Puppet, uh, Lefty and Nightmare that to me seem like they could connect, but I didn't, I didn't, I have this, and the problem is, is that this is why this is called a hypothesis and not a theory, because gut feelings... <laughs> Uh, do not mean much in the scheme of things. Um, so yeah. This is just me talking for approximately ten minutes about a thought that I've had since FNAF, uh, Pizza Sim came out that I have no idea how to connect to anything, but I figured it was worth sharing, and maybe somebody will know what to do with this information. Or maybe somebody will actually look into this further and find more connections, and then continue doing what I've been doing since Pizza Sim and going, but what does it mean? Because Scott Cawthon doesn't do coincidences. You do not have two black bears each having something vaguely, hu vaguely humanoid inside of them, each with enough similarities that connections can be drawn, and have it mean nothing. Alright, I Scott Scott doesn't do that. There has to be something there. I just don't know what it is. So, here we are. I hope somebody that can actually figure out what it means sees this. I, the problem is, is timelines are weird. Everyone places everything in timelines differently. So, there's also the distinct possibility of the idea that all of the all of the nightmare animatronics are created by sound illusion discs versus the idea that only some of them are actually created by sound illusion discs 
the books make all of this weird. But the problem is, is that even in the books, the sound illusion discs are described as working in a way in that they warp how you see something, how you view it. It doesn't completely change the thing that you're seeing. It just makes it, I guess, more organic looking, more real. Like, that's that's at least how I understood them working in there, is that's why you have to have, like, the base of this animatronic is a bear, and then the sound illusion discs turns it into Twisted Freddy, and such muchness, because it changes the character, it changes it based off both the character and also how you view the character, so... To me, I always thought that the reason that the Twisted Freddy had the stomach, mouth, gaping thing was because of was because of the fact that he was because of the fact that several of the Freddies have open torso chambers, and so going on that line of thought. Nightmare, uh, Nightmare could have been come up with through the sound illusion discs via someone seeing a large black bear consume something vaguely humanoid, aka the puppet, aka Lefty. That's those were the loops that my brain leaped, leapt through, leapt through. Again, you can tell that this is unscripted. Because I'm just kind of saying the things. Um, that's, that's all that I have. Hopefully somebody else that knows a little bit more will be able to come in and figure this out. Because I've not seen this connection brought up in any way, shape, or form. And because if I had, I would have, you know, included any information that they had and probably included their links or whatever in the YouTube thing, but I haven't. I've not seen anyone else make this connection. So here I am, making the connection, hoping that somebody else that knows what they're doing can do something with it. De desperately hoping that somebody else can help me figure out why this is the way that it is. That's all for today. Goodbye and have fun playing Ruin. I unfortunately get to wait until it comes out on the Switch because my gaming PCs suck. Toodaloo!